Pilots walked out of the cockpit at Amerijet a week ago after trying to bargain a first contract for years. They are fighting for better wages, of course, but it's the lack of bathrooms on the airline's fleet of 727s that has them, well, indisposed. This is actually the bathroom that we're expected to use on the Amerijet airplanes. Um, this is used for either number one or number two, and unfortunately, we can't use this in the cockpit, so we need to exit ourselves out of the cockpit and go into the back. And what happens to the waste? Pilots say with no place to dump it, they have to store it right next to where they sit. These are hung up at uh, the back of the cockpit for 18 hours, so is, that in itself is just so unsanitary. Pilots say their walkout is effective, disrupting cargo operations. They say they've swallowed big pay cuts and are among the lowest paid in the industry. But they say it was the company's refusal to budge on sick leave that caused the walkout. Crews only get six paid days a year, a situation workers say is an aviation safety issue. What this does is encourages most crew members that if they're sick or they're fatigued to go to work anyways. Amerijet officials declined to go on camera and answer questions, saying it's not their policy to talk about labor negotiations. They insisted, however, they have a fine record of safety with the Federal Aviation Administration. Federal mediators have been called in and pilots say they want talks to resume, but the Teamsters Union is also lobbying members of Congress to help resolve the impasse. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.